Hello and good morning, Mamums. Thank you for making the time to practice with me today. We're going to start off today in Balasana Child's Pose. So finding your way to your comfortable child's pose. I like bringing the knees together and spreading my arms wide, pushing my hips back. And just finding my way to bringing my forehead on the floor. Breathing out through the nose. Inhaling as deeply as you can through the nose. Taking a moment here. For yourself. Settling, arriving, and leaving whatever has gone on during the day at the door. For the next 20 minutes, this time is for you. Focus on the breath. Use your breath to always bring you back to your center. And when the mind starts to wander through the physical practice, focus back on your breath. We're going to tuck the toes, take it up to kneeling. Kneeling position with the toes tucked. Feel the stretch through the bottom of the foot. Roll the shoulders down and back. Feel nice and tall like a piece of thread is pulling you up from the center of your head all the way up to the ceiling. Inhale, we're going to take the arms wide. Spread the fingers. Exhale, cactus the arms. Squeeze the elbows into the side of the body. Interlock behind you. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. Folding forwards, top of the head on the mat. Bringing the hands closer to the back of the body. Inhale, bringing it up. An interlock. Wide, spread the fingertips. Lift towards the ceiling. Exhale, cactus arms. Bring the elbows in, belly in. Interlock behind you and round forwards on your exhale. Top of the head to the mat. Bringing the interlocked fingers down behind you. Inhale, taking it up. Go for this two more times at your own speed. We're going to untuck the toes and sit on our ankles. From there, we're going to interlock the fingers behind us one more time. And we're going to bend one arm, bring the hands to the left-hand side, and then we're going to bring our left ear towards our left shoulder, getting a nice big stretch through the right-hand side of the body, through the neck, keeping the shoulder down, keeping the ribs stacked, just enjoying this stretch preparing ourselves for the practice. Coming back to center, we're going to swap onto the other side. So keeping those fingers interlocked, pulling it down to the right hand side. Pulling the left shoulder down away from the left ear. But just with ease, no strain.
releasing. We're now going to take the arms out to the sides. We're going to take your right arm, cross it, bend it. We're going to loop the left arm under and try and grab the hand. So if this is a little bit of a struggle for you, what you can do is just focus on crossing the elbows. If the hands don't come today, that's okay. Or you can just try and grab whatever you can. If hands are okay, we're trying to get them in that prayer position. And from here, I want you to pull the arms upwards so that you can feel the stretch in the back. Looking towards the center. Keep your breathing calm. And releasing, bringing elbows back to center. This time we're going to loop the right hand under the left. Crossing at the elbows, grabbing whatever you can. Looking at the forearms. And then lifting up. Releasing, Ooh, feels so good. From there, we're gonna take it to the all fours position. Shoulders stacked right on top of the wrist, spreading the fingers. Inhale, let's take it for some cat cow. So inhale, looking up towards the ceiling, letting the belly stretch, exhale, second round. Inhale, up for your happy cat. Exhale, down for your angry cat. Two more in your own time. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful stuff. Now for happy hips. So we're going to take the knees slightly further behind us. We're going to draw the hips close to the mat, circle them, and then push back around. Nice big circle. And in the other direction, nice big circle anti-clockwise. Bringing it back to that all fours position. We're going to inhale. It's going to relax your belly. Exhale, lift through the pelvic floor. Draw the belly in. Right arm, left leg are going to extend out to the edge of the mat. Then we're lifting them up. If that's okay, what we're going to do is bend our left knee. Try and get the knee in line with the hip. We're going to pull the right arm in for that cactus position. And then we're going to inhale, extend the arm out, flatten the leg. Okay, see if we can hold there. If you need to come back down and reset your core, please do. Inhale, taking it out. Exhale, lift and pull. Inhale, taking it out. Exhale, lift and pull. Two more. Inhale, taking it out. Exhale, lift and pull. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Release. Back to center. Just give yourself a little wiggle. We're going to do it on the other side. Right arm and left knee are down. Left arm, right leg are going to extend. So draw that belly in. Lifting through the pelvic floor. Inhale, taking it out. Exhale, lifting it up. Hold here for a second. Make sure you're stable. If that's okay. Then we're going to inhale, sorry, we're going to exhale, inhale, take it out, exhale, engage, inhale, take it out, exhale, engage, inhale, one more, exhale, inhale, release, all the way back down to all fours. If those were okay for you, now we're going to try and do a little pull and hold, so a little bit of a half bow. 
from the all fours position. If that time wasn't that great, what you can try and do this time is simply just practice lifting the leg back and then bending the knee, but without having to worry about this hand stabilizing. If you're okay, we're going to ground through the left hand and the right knee. Inhale, take it out, right arm, left leg, we lift up. We're gonna bend that knee. The right hand is gonna come out and hold on the outside of the ankle, not the inside of the foot. Outside of the ankle, so your arm is twisted, your chest is open. We're gonna inhale and lift. Pressing the ankle into the uh, hand and the hand into the ankle. Gentle back bending. Whoop, don't look away, Ziggy. Look at your drishti. Looking up if you can. Breath is steady and calm. Coming back down. Good. Release. Swapping sides. Right hand is grounded this time. Left knee is grounded. Inhale. We're going to take it out. Left arm, right knee. If that's okay, we're going to bend. We're going to take the hand onto the outside of the ankle. Okay? Inhale. Exhale and lift. And release. Taking it back to Velasana, rounding through the spine. We've just generated a little bit of heat in the body. So notice the sensations in the body, keeping your breath calm. From there, we're going to press it back up. The all fours position, taking your right foot out to the right hand. We're going to extend the left leg back so the knee is behind the hip so we feel this hip flexor stretch. Tall chest, and then if this is okay, you can either grab blocks to hold on to or you can come down to your forearms. So elbow lining up with the um, heel of the foot, and then I want your hat, your wrists, elbows, shoulders in a nice 90 degree. Both hips pointing down, keeping the chest nice and long. Pressing through the forearm slightly. Keeping that right knee out. And then now take it out so that you're pressing the right knee out away from you and the right heel, so it looks like that, ooh, we can't see. So it looks like this, as if we're going in for a pigeon. And just allowing that right knee to fall out to its own passive range, but you're still pressing up through your forearms. Inhale, coming back to center. We're gonna swap sides. Left foot to the left side. Forearms come down, hip flexor stretch, sorry, hip flexor stretch up here first. Then you're going down for your lizard. So forearms are on the mat, elbows in line with the heel. Just feel this first. Keep that back strong, mind calm. Dropping the left knee out, left heel of the foot and then just passive range. So passive range is I'm not forcing it, I'm just allowing it. Good, inhale, taking it back up. Beautiful. From there, we're gonna switch back to that right hand side. So this one, I like to have a block. So if you have a block, please place it by the right foot on the inside. We're gonna take that knee back again. And this time we're gonna lift left arm to left leg. So we're first just gonna try and bend. We're first just gonna try and bend this left knee. If you need some extra padding under the knee, that's always nice. This one's awful, just kidding. And we're gonna pull the outside of the foot inwards. Oof.
nice calm breathing, nice tall chest. Feeling the stretch through the thigh. Swapping sides. Left foot, hip flexor first. Right knee bends, bind the toes. There's always one side. Face calm, breath calm. And release. Whew. Those make me sweat. Okay. Well done. I'll see you tomorrow for a yoga flow. Good job, my mom.